Without question, stress and anxiety are on the rise for all kids and then especially for girls. Here is the good news. There is a huge amount we can do to redress this. Right now, we talk about stress as if it is invariably harmful, as though it is always bad, as though the goal is to try to avoid it. That is not how psychologists understand stress. We see stress as a given. It is part of life. The other thing we know about stress is that it's actually good for you. Stress is usually what happens when we are operating at the edge of our capacities. And when we operate at the edge of our capacities, we usually expand our capacities. Your job is to make sure your child knows how to recover and make sure she has time and space to recover. Your job is not to prevent stress. It's actually a critical part of her development. Um, to be clear, not all stress is healthy. There is a line we can cross. Here's the line. Psychologists do not like chronic stress. Stress in the absence of the possibility of recovering is not healthy, and we don't like traumatic stress, overwhelmingly stressful events. Short of that, stress is actually gonna make you more capable and more durable. Here's why psychologists like anxiety. We see it as a gift handed down by evolution designed to keep you safe. Anxiety is your alarm system that alerts you to threats. As long as we hold on to this notion that we're supposed to feel great all the time and that stress is bad and anxiety is bad, we will have what we have now, which is that we are raising a generation of children who feel stressed about getting stressed and anxious about getting anxious. And what we know is sleep is the glue that holds human beings together. And when people are sleep deprived, you will see rising stress and anxiety. It's very simple. To be clear, elementary students need 11 hours of sleep a night. Middle school students need 10 hours of sleep a night. High schoolers need nine hours of sleep a night. Anything short of that, you will have a more fragile kid. There's no getting around it. I wrote under pressure actually because I feel hopeful, not because I feel worried that we cannot address stress and anxiety in our girls and in the culture. There is so much we can do and so much we can change to make things better for our kids. So I'm gonna wrap up actually with a quote from Anna Freud. So here's what she says in 1965. It is not the presence or absence the quality or even the quantity of anxiety which allows predictions as to future mental health or illness. What is significant is only the ability to deal with anxiety by way of resources such as intellectual understanding, logical reasoning, changing of external circumstances, by mastery instead of retreat. Thank you.